Hello guys, welcome back to Legatum Gaming and another Friday the 13th tutorial. So today we're going to hit you with Councillor Perks. What they are, what they do and how you buy and sell them. So you go on to Customize, Councillor obviously and then you just go into Perks. Here you have your old perk like I've explained to you before and you have your perk library which can hold up to 30 perks. Um, if you get duplicates, which I have, um, you can sell them, which is great because there is a hell of a lot of perks you can get. I'll list all the perks that I know you can get uh, in the description if you're interested in having a look at that. Uh, right, so what the perks are. Perks, they help you and well they help you out and they they give you an increase in a certain ability and they give you a decrease in the opposite so for example controlled breathing is a perk that I've got uh, fear decreases faster while inside a hiding spot ie a tent uh, a cupboard under a bed etc uh, this is a common one so it's not a great uh, great perk but it gives you plus six uh, fear decrease while hiding and minus one overall stamina decrease. So that's not too bad, but I don't really hide too much. That's probably why I die all the time. But anyway, as you can see, you have selection, different selection. So it goes from poor to epic, obviously epic being the best ones you can get. Uh, when I first started playing, I thought epics were were just going to be a certain kind of perk you could get, but no, you can get epic on every single perk. Um, let me show you the difference between that. So I've got heavy hitter on a paw. Uh, it gives you plus 11% stun time increased and minus 5% stamina recharge rate decrease. So if we move across onto the epic one, that's a massive, massive difference. So here you get plus 36% stun time increase compared to 11%, which is a hell of a difference. Uh, but you get minus 8% stamina recharge decrease. So you're adding 3% on your stamina recharge, which isn't a problem, but you're adding such a significant time onto your stun time with that. So obviously there is a major difference between poor and epic. Uh, we have a poor and a common here. This is the poor. Home body, less chance of being detected by Jason's sensibility while indoors. This uh, poor one has 5% sense avoidance chance and minus 2% uh, stamina decrease. A lot of these seem to work around uh, decreasing your stamina or re rega regaining it or your speed. Uh, for the common version you get 9% which is, is okay. So obviously everyone you're uh, looking for is epic and if you do roll a poor one and you've already got it like here you press uh, for PlayStation, you just press square to sell it and you get yourself 100 CP for that. As shown. So let's roll a few perks and see what we can get. Easy listening on a rare, which is, I'm quite happy with that. Being in proximity of a radio playing music boosts stamina recharge rate. Oh, so you get zero, zero penalties on that, which is pretty cool. Um, plus 8% stamina recharge. Let's do a couple more and see what we can get, see if we can get an epic. Oh, uh, we have. <laughs> Wicked. So we've got a grinder on a paw, increases the amount of XP gained while equipped. 1% uh, increase and 0% melee damage decrease, which is pretty cool. Uh, you get 5% XP increase, so if you're looking to grind and get your levels up, this is a perfect one for you. Uh, I'm happy with that, very happy with that. I didn't think I'd get an epic on, on this video. Right, let's roll another. Swift attacker. Oh, another epic. Wow. 
Increase your melee attack speed with all weapons. Oh, okay, I'm definitely going to be equipping that. 20% attack speed increase. Wow, that's great. Uh, minus 3% attack damage decrease. One more. An uncommon one. Ice cold. You experience less fear when seeing the dead body of a teammate. That's quite a high percent, to be fair. Because that's a nightmare if you're running along, see someone dead, and uh, alert Jason where you are. 32%. That's pretty cool. I wonder what the epic version of that would be like. So, yeah, I think uh, with the perks I have right now, personally, I would go with this swift attacker, heavy hitter, because I'd I find myself trying to hit Jason quite a lot. As I say, that's probably why I'm dead most of the time. Um, and my third one... I'll probably go Escape Artist, just in case Jason's trying to get a uh, better kill on you. You can escape quite easily, but that's, that's just how I play. Um... For example, I know a lot of people like to start with a walkie-talkie, especially if you're in a squad. My dad's a cop. If you can get that on an epic uh, perk, that is brilliant because you can bring the time down from five minutes to, to three minutes, maybe even two minutes if, uh, if you have got that on epic. And the police escape is probably one of the easiest. Obviously, it all depends on your uh, playing preference. Um, but what what I'll do, like I said, is put uh, every perk and what they do in the description. So guys, that's the end of this video. Thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you could give this video a like, comment, let me know which your favourite perks are. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks a lot guys. Have a good day.